What is going on YouTube? So just got done with my Paxton Lynch Denver Broncos video and now I wanted to do one about the Florida Gators and you know I've said some kind of controversial questionable stuff in people's eyes over the last couple days because I've been doing some I've been trying to do a little bit more bold stuff in my videos um, just saying what the most bold thoughts I have in videos and this is going to continue that trend and this might be the most bold thing I say in all my college football uh, like preview videos for the year. And I'm going to say that the Florida Gators are the perfect sleeper and will be a solid contender for the college football playoff. Some of you might agree, some of you might disagree. I mean, obviously that's the way everything goes. But this team, man, they're, they're talented. I think they're ready to go. I, I, I don't have a great feeling about Luke Del Rio, I'll be honest. Um, you know, the other options they got, Austin Appleby and Felipe Franks, they have options this year. That's more than they had last year. You know, with Treon Harris running that offense, man, they were terrible. They were awful. They couldn't move the ball. They had a top 10 defense, too, and they do again this year. So, I want to give my three reasons why, because I'm not just going to ramble on about why I think. Um, there's going to be a little bit of structure to this, at least. The first one. With a decent quarterback, not even a good one, with a decent quarterback, I believe that they are the most talented team in the SEC East. Granted, that's, a, again, some Tennessee fans probably aren't happy. I mean, hell, I'm wearing a fucking Tennessee shirt right now. Um, kind of weird to be talking about this in Tennessee shirt. Either, either way, you know, it, it, it is them or Tennessee. And... You know, they, they they just need to live up to it. They need to live up to it because it's, it's frustrating seeing a team that a lot of people don't give the credit that they deserve for just being one piece away. And I really feel like Florida is one of those teams. There's a lot of teams out there that are like that. And there's a lot of teams out there that are one piece away that just don't don't look just don't look at it because that one piece just makes the entire team fall apart. In Florida's case, the quarterback. They have three options at quarterback this year, really. Like I said, Luke Del Rio, Austin Appleby, Felipe Franks. Most likely Luke Del Rio. Oregon State transfer. As much as you want to think about it, Luke Del Rio coming over from Oregon State, you know, if he failed at Oregon State or if, you know, he was scared out of there, why will he be able to last at Florida? That's a good thought. Second reason is the defense. This is a top 10 defense in the country, in my opinion. Just... NFL talent all over the place. You know, you look in, you look in the secondary. Obviously, Jalen Tabor, probably a top fifteen pick this year. Marcus May, top three round pick this year at safety. Jared Davis, a first round pick at linebacker. Uh, going up the list, C.C. Jefferson, former five star recruit, now sophomore. Caleb Brantley. Future NFL draft pick, Joey Ivy, future NFL draft pick probably this coming year, and then Brian Cox also probably NFL draft pick this year. Again, they were good last year. I think they'll be good again this year. And now reason number three. I think that people are overlooking Florida and the job that Jim McEl or Jim McElwain's done to the point where they're a great sleeper for this year i think that you know he's finally got his guys in place and i'll be honest i really like the talent they have in place at the wide receiver spot ahmad fullwood cj wharton antonio callaway especially after he gets back from his suspension the only problem i have with their offense is the running game it looks like it's going to be a little bit or a little bit weak this year they're running with the two jordans jordan scarlet jordan cronkite um you know I, I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> Hopefully, all right. I mean, their offensive line's pretty good. Like, it's not great. I think it's going to be pretty good. Schedule-wise, obviously, they're not giving an easy or given an easy schedule. You know, they were seven points away from beating LSU last year. Granted, again, with uh, Treon Harrison, it was in Death Valley. They get LSU at home this year. Grand F LSU will probably be a little bit better, too, and motivated in the same way with the quarterback problem that Florida is. LSU is in a very similar situation to Florida. At, besides that, in a road game at Tennessee, I think that they'll be able to clear through the rest of their schedule just fine. You know, they've really dominated Georgia the last two years in um, in the Florida-Georgia game in Jacksonville. And then really the only game that I think that they're really going to lose is at Florida State. 
And like, if they can't put up points, they're not going to beat Florida State, who's a easily a top five team in the country this year. All right, so that'll con- got, uh, that'll conclude this video. You know, like I said, it. I really th- there's something that's just like in uh, that just inside me believes that Florida will be good this year. That Florida really will take that next step. I believe Jim McElwain's a great head coach. I think that they've got something special with pretty much all of their talent. Uh, they just need a quarterback to be put in place. Again, running games, maybe a little bit su- or a little suspect tenor of the year. But you know what? Florida tends to figure out the run game most years when it's uh, bad, mediocre, or something like that. You know, with the passing game, I think that'll be ironed out a little bit too, if they can get there. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So yeah.